Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Krista's So Crafty. My name is Krista and I really appreciate you joining me here today. We are now going to get started making these cups. We are going to be making nine in total. Eight girls are going on the weekend. The ninth one, Vicki, is not able to come this year, but I'm still going to make her a cup. So I'll make that separate, but I will show you how I made these. As you can see, I have them all ready to go for the other eight girls and I'll show you how to do that. The first thing we're going to do is go and get the image. I did find the image in, in Cricut Design Space, so I will show you how to do that. Click over here on the left under images. We're going to go into the search bar and we're going to type in girls get away and press enter on your keyboard. And the very first one that pops up is the one that image that I used. So I'm going to click on that and then I go down to the bottom right and choose add to canvas. As you can see, it shows up in the top left hand corner. I'm just going to move it over here so it's out of the way of all the other ones. The very first thing I'm going to do before I do any editing or changing of colors or anything out like that is I'm going to click on that, make sure it's selected, and I'm going to go down and choose weld. Now what that's going to do is because right now there's two different colors that this will cut out on if I were to leave it the same, but when I click weld, it changes it so that the for example, the crown is attached to the letter G and all the word down below, the getaway, word getaway, is connected now to the word girls. So the whole thing is now one unit. So if I click on that, I like that size. I didn't change that size at all for the cups that I'm doing. You would want to measure and decide the size for whatever it is you're going to be putting these on. Do that for any piece, any vinyl sorry for any image that you get whether it be from images or one that you've uploaded yourself so i'm going to go and change this i'm going to make this cup for vicky and it's going to be the pink as well so i'm just going to choose the color over here the color square and i'm going to change it to pink the next thing i need to do is to write her name so i'm going to move to the left and choose text and again it shows up on the left so i'm just going to move it over here and as you can see, it's already set for the Milkshake Scripts Suite. Milkshake Script Suite. My goodness, that is a mouthful. I'll show you that in just a second, but I'm going to double click on the word text and I'm going to change this to Vicky. Okay. At this point, I'm going to go and I'm going to change the color to the pink so that it matches the pink up above. And then I'm going to go and click on the font and had I not had that selected already, you would just come into here and you could do a search for it. I want to show you there's two different ways to search for fonts. The first is under Cricut. Now under Cricut, there's lots of fonts to choose from, but you want to be careful in here because if you're not a member to their access, which is their, their program for all the fonts and images and whatnot, you may have to pay for this. So be very careful. It would be in here somewhere. I'm guessing I do have a membership for access, so I'm not seeing any um, charges or, or any dollar amounts as to what these fonts would be, but just be careful of that. The other place you can look is on your system. Now this is your computer system that's on your computer, your laptop, whatever it is that you're using. I have lots of different fonts that I have found in various places, font.com, um, um, Defont, what design bundles, different things like that. Some I've purchased, some I've just downloaded, they're free ones. And so choose whatever font you want. I am going to use Milkshake. So I'm just going to type in Milkshake in the top and press enter. And that will bring up the font for the Milkshake script suite. And it will change the Vicky's name to that script. I want to make sure that Vicky's name is going to fit nicely on that, on that cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the width up here and I'm actually going to change that width to 3.81 and when I click on my tab button on my keyboard it automatically changes the height to this 1.486. I think that's just still too high. I'm going to change that to 1.276 and press enter on my keyboard and it just changed it a little bit and so now I feel comfortable that this here is going to fit nicely on that cup. We're good to go. Don't forget to save. Always want to save before you start cutting in the event that 
cricket shuts down or there's a whatever you don't want to lose your work save 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 good to go going to click on make it now what will happen is cricut will take and sort all of that stuff into like colors and show you the different mats for each color so here's the pink one as you can see all of our names are on there but as you can also see it's really kind of a, a mess it's wasting space so what i like to do is just kind of move stuff around try to utilize the space the vinyl because i don't i don't want to waste any of this vinyl right i mean you never know when you might need some more vinyl so i would just rearrange it a little bit so that everything fits on the mat in a nice way and that you can utilize the most material possible then you would just click on continue once you're into the this screen what you need to do is you need to set your base material i've already got the vinyl uh, the holographic vinyl starred here but i will show you how to do that if you don't have it under your favorites click browse all materials go up to the top here and just type in holographic and whoops helps to spell all right there we go holographic and then it'll bring up any of the options for vinyl or whatever that are holographic we want holographic vinyl so that's this one here as you can see i have a yellow star beside it and that's all you need to do if you want to just have add this to your favorites just click on the yellow on the star beside it and it'll make it yellow and then when you do it will add it to your favorites so now when my base material is set to holographic vinyl i do not need to change my default pressure now if this is the first time you're using holographic vinyl on your cutting machine whether it be the maker the explorer or even the joy you might want to do a little sample cut first all you would need to do is just go and open up a new design space screen choose a little heart or a star and just cut that out if it cuts properly without changing the pressure then no worries if you if it's not cutting all the way through you may need to change it more then that way we'll do probably more cuts if you do less because maybe it's cutting through the vinyl through the backing which you don't want then you would want to do less but like i said for me i'm just going to leave it the way it is now i'm ready to go to my mat and put my vinyl on there and start cutting So this is the second colorway that I'm doing. It's this beautiful kind of orangey pinky one. So I'm just going to cut these apart and then we're going to weave them. So there are eight different mugs that I'm doing for this. This is some Friends and some family are going out camping for the weekend, just the girls. So I thought it would be fun to do up some some fun little cups. Where's the other one? There it is. Alright. I just love how this weeds. It's just so nice. Very, very seldom have I ever had the, when I pulled on it like that, have I ever had the other vinyl come up off with it. Like the stuff that's supposed to stay there. Very, very seldom. This is great stuff. I will show you the package in just a second here. Just let me get this weeded out here. One second. This is the holographic vinyl that I'm using. It's from Tech Wrap, 
and like I said, it's wonderful, wonderful um, holographic vinyl. Comes like this. Yeah. Finishing up the last one here. I think these are gonna look very nice on the on the mugs, on the glasses, on the drinking cups, whatever they are. I think they're gonna look very sharp. I tried to kind of match them up a bit, but either way, I think they're gonna look very nice. All right, get all these little extra pieces off of me. Try to. All right, so those ones are all done, all ready to go onto our cups. So these ones will go on to, if I can find them, these cups here. I think that's gonna be pretty. And then These ones will go on these ones. So I think that's gonna look sharp. Those and that. All right, so I just have a piece of transfer tape on here. I'm gonna rub this down good on the front. And then I'm going to turn it over and scrape it down really good on the back. I want to make sure that that holographic vinyl is going to be sticking onto our transfer tape so that when I pull this off, it's just like that. So there is our little vinyl for this. Now I've already gone through and I've used some rubbing alcohol and a, just a paper towel and I've cleaned my glass all the way around and so now I'm just going to lay it on its side I'm just going to put this thing here to kind of hold it in place and this on the other side I need to get a, a cup cradle is what I need all right so now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to grab it by the edges and I'm going to very carefully Kind of fold it, get it where I want it. I find it easier to stand up over top of my the item and put the vinyl on this way. Then that way, it just helps me to get it on straighter. Now, because we have a curved surface, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, sorry, you can't see that. I'm gonna cut some slits into the, not into the vinyl, just into the transfer tape. Just so that I can help it get around those corners easier. I'll do this side in a second. So I'm gonna push down in the middle and I'm going to just lay this down using my thumb and I don't care if the transfer tape gets all crooked. I don't want the vinyl to go down crooked. So I'm just going to rub that down. Now I'm going to turn it. Take my scissors and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut some slits into the transfer tape, but not into the vinyl. Just like that. That allows me a better way to get that vinyl to lay down. Okay, so I'm going to lift this up and give it a little clip in here because it's wanting to be go off on its own direction there. And like that. And with this holographic vinyl, I find that you can with some vinyl, if it touches the surface, that's it, you're done. That's where it's sticking and there's no going back. But I find with this holographic vinyl, you get a little bit more 
um, what do you call it? Forgiveness doesn't like glue right down right away. So now I'm just going to peel up the corner of the transfer tape and I'm going to start peeling it. Now, of course, unfortunately, with putting the slits in the transfer tape, you're not going to be able to use the transfer tape more than once. Okay. Now I see that I have a, whoa, stop, get down there. If you ever have something start coming up, just lay it back down and just rub on it with your finger. You can even use your um, scraping tool. There, that's better. All right, so for the most part, that laid down really nice. I have one little spot here that I'm gonna fix and one little spot here it looks like. But other than that, I think it all laid down so nice and I think it looks so sharp. All right, so let's get in here and fix that. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little X-Acto knife and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put a little slice in here. I'm gonna be very careful because I don't wanna scratch the cup. So I'm just gonna cut that like that. I'll use my finger to push it down on this side. There we go, see, not a problem. Now this is not how I like to do things, but you know what, sometimes it happens and you have to fix it. So I'm gonna fix this one in the same way. I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna slice the vinyl. Careful not to cut my um, cup. And then I'm just gonna lay that down you know what? It's going to be wonderful. There we go. See, you can hardly tell even where it was. Okay, so let's start on the second round of cups, the orangey pink ones. I just love this color. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take this and I'm going to flip it over burnish it down, scrape it down really good. Of course, remove the dog hair and just pull up on the backing to reveal my design. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some cuts. These will help. Oh, there's another dog hair. Yes, Tux was helping. <laughs> These will help going around the curves on the on the cup now it's not a guarantee that you're not going to have any folds or anything like that but it's definitely going to help okay so just just make sure you don't cut your design so now we'll bring this back in <clears throat> and like i've said before i like to stand over top of my whatever it is I'm going to put it on, so in this case my cup, so that I can look straight down and make sure I get it as even as possible. Just like that. I'm going to do this top part first. And I try to usually do one side at a time. And smooth it down with my th thumb. And now this is the one, this is the side that has been giving me the grief on all of them, on all the rest of them, is this getaway, this script writing. So I'm going to push this down and then I'm just going to leave that like that and I'm going to start pulling it up. Oopsie. Make sure you get it all pushed down. And because I put the slits in the transfer paper, it's going to rip and allow me to just take off bits and pieces at a time, which is what I want. Okay, so I'm just going to take my scissors and remove that. And stick that over there. The top is beautiful. I love it. But... We have a few wrinkles down in here that I want to get out. 
So there's a few ways to go about it. I'm going to start removing this. Oops, stay there. If it starts to come up, just put it back, lay it back down, and use your finger or your scraper, and then you can continue on. Just like so. Now I do have a few little warbles there that I'm going to work on. So I'm going to bring you in a little closer. You have to excuse the cloth that I'm using to set this on it's just so it doesn't roll away. It's just an old, old dishcloth that I use from in my painting and stuff. You can probably see all the paint all over it. So anyways, back to this. So what I'm going to do is see there's a there you can see there's a warble there and there and it's just because the angle of this goes straight down and then it curves out and then in so you've got two curves that you're dealing with and it makes it interesting I'm not saying it's impossible because obviously I'm doing it but just take your time so I like to use this little exacto knife I'm just gonna pull this letter up and just make sure that it's laying down where I want it. And I'm okay with all of this here, so I'm gonna make sure it's pressed down. And then as far as this, I'm just going to kind of pinch it with my fingernail. And then I just take my blade and I gently press down and cut that, which allows me to be able to lift this and kind of overlap. Now, this is not, it's not the best way to do it. It'd be nice if it would just all lay down straight the first time. So there you can see that part is down. Now I'm just gonna lay that down. And you can barely see that join. But it looks a lot better than having a a big bend in it. So for example, like this one here, see how it's all bent right there? So all I do is just take a little, and this little exacto knife from the dollar store is perfect. Did you, I don't know if you were able to hear that little snap that was cutting through the vinyl. Okay. Let's lift that up and allow it to now you don't want to go like this because this, the paint on this will definitely scratch. So be very careful when you are working, when you're doing this on whatever project you happen to be doing this on. Okay, you just, you don't want to scratch. Got that cut, lay it down. And again, you can just barely see it. If you didn't know it was there, you really wouldn't even see it. All right, so I'm going to take my weeding tool because I got a big piece here that's sticking up. I'm just going to lift that up and kind of press that around and try to get it so it's not quite that big. And you'll see I'm just taking my nails and I'm just kind of pushing it along until I get a bit of a bit of a, a mountain, if you want to call it, right there, right? And then I just, again, I'm going to take my blade and just cut that, lift up the one side. Oops, I must miss the corner or the edge on that. There we go. Push the one side down. And then what I like to do just to make sure is look at it straight on so that that overlapping piece is going to be right lined up with that curve. I try to get it on the flattest area possible and that's it. Again, like you can just barely see where I put that together. I like to go around and just press down with my finger, with my thumb, on over top of all the letters, all the vinyl, just to make sure that everything is pressed down good. And as usual, you want to wait 24 to 48 hours 
minimum 24 hours, but at least 24 hours to 48 hours before you wash this or anything. Just so that the vinyl has a good amount of time to adhere to whatever it is you're putting it on. I just love how that shines. All right, so now I'm going to turn this over and I'll get this in line just like that. And I have my name here. I'm just gonna take the backer off of it like so. Sorry, I hit the camera there. So here it is my name. And I'm gonna deliberately put it on an angle Oh, I see I have the middle part of the S. I need to pick that out. I will do that right away here. Anyways, what I was saying is I deliberately put it on an angle because then if it's you can't get things on straight, it doesn't matter because it's on an angle. So I'm just going to take my little weeding tool and pop that out just like so. And again, press down with my finger or my thumb. Make sure it's stuck down to that. Look at that. I just think they're so cute. They turned out so good. I'll show you all of them in one second. All right, so here's the finished product. That's Jackie and Carrie and Gail and Naomi. Oops. And then on the other side, I think these turned out so nice. I hope the girls will like them. Yes. So that's the green set, greenish blue set. And here are the orange pinky ones. I just think the colors are amazing on both of these and I love how this holographic vinyl just pops and grabs colors and looks pretty cool. Thank you once again for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or just have a comment, please leave them in the description box below. And I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. That helps my, my channel grow.